Hi Pisces, welcome to your month ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you are not on my mailing list, you are not getting the Monday Magic Tarot tidbit, which is a message from me and the tarot to get you fired up for your Monday morning and get you out there, uh, you know, with all of that good stuff energy. Also, I am running a winter solstice alignment activation on the 21st of December. Spaces are going fast and they are limited. If you would like to be a part of that, it's, you know, it's going to be a whole bunch of energy work and an FLP session that will set you up for 2020. And we know that 2020 is going to be a really interesting year with that whole conjunction that's taking place right at the start of the year in January. So if you want to get fired up for the year ahead, hit the link in the description box below. I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the month ahead has in store for you Pisces. What has your actions and interactions with the world at large got to say for September and this month you get the High Priestess, wow, okay, so very interesting. Um, <laughs> the High Priestess is about hidden things revealed, right? She is secrets that come to light, but she's also about our intuition. She's also about that formless place that sends us messages and impressions and precognitions as well. Uh, this could be a very psychic month for you, right? Um, this could be a month, it could also be, interestingly enough, because we've got your your ruler, uh, Neptune, is currently in Pisces, and it's squaring Jupiter at the moment. So you may have some trouble differentiating between your intuition and between your suspicion this month. Um, and it's really important that you try not to mix the two. So this is about keeping yourself as clear as possible, right? Uh, your intuition will be very active this month. You will be very psychic. I mean, Pisces is very psychic anyway, right? You have a very intuitive energy it's route into who you are um, the fact that you've got this in your actions and interactions with the world at large though it means that this month you're divulging a secret um, it could be that somebody is divulging a secret to you but because it's in your actions this is what you're doing so this is about you talking about something that you have held on to for quite some time this could be you sharing something with a partner with a loved one uh, with a friend, with a colleague, with a boss. Uh, this is you sharing something that is deeply personal to you, something that is a secret. Um, and this is about you finding a way to finally speak about something that you've been holding on to for a while. Um, and, you know, actually, the feeling that I get from it is you will feel a lot lighter and brighter when that moment happens. And you might not know what that is. You're probably watching this at the moment. A lot of you will probably be like, mm, well, I don't really feel like I have any secrets that need to be divulged, Raph. When the moment comes, you'll be like, ah okay th this is what I need to talk about and you'll feel that moment because it will feel like a release once you've spoken on it now you do have like I said your ruler uh, Neptune is currently in Pisces and that is square in Jupiter and because you've got the high priestess as your actions uh, my advice to you is um, try to differentiate between what is intuition and what is suspicion and they are two very different things you know it doesn't mean if you have a suspicion about something and your intuition informs that um, that you're wrong it's just for the and it, you know it's a subtle difference right so find a way to navigate that that doesn't um, that doesn't put people off and also doesn't make you look a way that you don't want to come across right as a good example if something has happened in your relationship and you feel jealous um, tell your partner rather than acting out on it because the fact that you've spoken to them about it nullifies any of the potential crap that could come up before it even happens uh, it's a very high path it's a very good powerful way to utilize that energy to preempt something your finances money and materials oh shit okay so sorry ah see see yeah i'm trying to be more conscious with my speech at the moment um and how i express myself because they, you, you know you can find other ways to emphasize a point uh and to to get things across so my my apologies but uh, you've got the tower card and it's in your finances right um <laughs> 
this could be an unexpected bill this month. It could be something that you're not expecting that kind of just pops up um, and it could have you thinking to yourself, oh crap, you know, I, I really didn't expect that and I actually don't need it at this moment in time. Um, when it comes to your money and your materials, this is a month to be uh, savvy. This is a month for you to uh, make sure that you have a store of resources or money or finances so that if something does crop up, uh, you have a way to kind of alleviate that. Um, the Tower card, for a select few of you, is actually in relation to your health. Um, and the Tower card representing Uranus can be two things. It's usually your nervous system. So if you have any chronic illness or chronic um, condition where it's all to do with your nervous system and even your lymphatic system as well. I say lymphatics because the high priestess is your waters. It's all of the, the liquids and the fluids within your body. Um, so if any of you, and again, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but I can tell you what the cards are telling me. And what I will say to you is this, if you have any issues with your waters, look your lymph system, if you have any issues with your nervous system, it's worth maybe getting those looked at so that you can, again, preempt. Um, you know, it could be nothing. You could go to it and the doctor would be like, no, absolutely, you're absolutely fine. And you sit there and say, oh, you know what, Raph, you were wrong. In this case, I really hope so. Um, the Tower card basically says that you will have a realization. You will have a startling moment when it comes to your health. So you might discover this month, actually, what has been causing a chronic illness when it comes to your lymph system, when it comes to your nervous system. And that's brilliant, right? Um, but sometimes, when we discover what the trigger is to uh, to a chronic condition, we're kind of taken aback because it's like, wow, okay, and I've been doing that to myself for God knows how long, right? So maybe it, it could come across in that way. In terms of your money, literally your money and your finances, um, it does look like there's some hidden expense that's coming your way. Um, so just be prepared for that this month. I'm sorry to say, um, but you know, that it is the tower, right? And you guys know me by now, I don't give you that crap. I kind of tell you it as it is so that um, I just had somebody complain about my Capricorn reading uh, because I spoke about death and you know I don't believe in shying away from the difficult subjects uh, because you don't get anything out of that. Your communications with the world at large you've got the nine of wands so this month if you if there is something that you feel that you need to speak about because your communications is what you're saying it's how you say it and you've got this high priestess and you remember earlier I talked about that feeling of possible jealousy or possibly feeling you know away or put out in some way if that is the case and you feel that speak up on it right don't hold it inside actually you know the disease dis-ease is when we hold something in when we tie an internal knot and we refuse to let something go it turns into a physical manifestation right so this is a perfect month where you can actually alleviate and save yourself a lot of hassle especially when it comes to your health um, by speaking about things finding a way to divulge what it is that you've been holding on to um, you know if you're feeling if you're feeling down if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling uh, unhappy about something if you know when like I said if it comes to a partner and you're feeling jealous or put out or you know they've done something and you just quietly seethe about it what's the point in that it's damaging to you and it creates a, a festering pit of crap in your relationship speak about it open up a dialogue the nine of wands sees us being a bit bruised and a bit battered by something but it's also a card of needing to speak up needing to say what you've got to say get it out um you know this is where we're beat up by the journey sometimes and because you've got it in your communications, this is basically saying to you, this must speak your heart. Whatever it is that you have inside, whatever it is that you're holding on to, by talking about it, you will get so much more out of it. And actually, in the course of talking about things, you might have an amazing realisation about yourself or about your life. Uh, and that's always a good thing, right? Because the tower brings us sudden understanding, sudden realisations, it cracks illusions. Um, so if you want to do that this month, the way that you're going to do it is by speaking up. And then finally, you get a little bit of a reprieve, um, right? You get the temperance card in your heart and half, which is beautiful because it suggests that for those of you that are partnered, even if you do have some issues this month, actually, you and your partner are going to reach a place of peace and understanding where you can transcend the experience that you're having. It looks like you and a partner are having a heart to heart this month 
which is a really brilliant thing because it allows you to you know to get into that space where you feel safe but vulnerable enough to divulge how you really feel about something you know who you are at a core level or some part of you that may have been hidden from them right uh, this is beautiful the temperance card always it's it's like a balm right it adds that little bit of uh you know peace and and uh understanding to everything that it touches and because it is the temperance card again it, it's if the tower is sudden flashes of inspiration and intuition the temperance card would be sudden a uh, spiritual understanding right and it's not so much like a flash it, you know it's more like a, a realization or a higher understanding or perspective that you arrive at um so yes for those of you that are single you could really be looking at your relationship style you could be looking this month at your the way that you do relationships what it is that you actually want from a relationship could start to change your understanding of what relationships are and how they can tr help us transcend uh, the, the the you know the the base uh, emotions of life um you know you could really be coming into that kind of knowledge this month um so yeah interesting i mean luckily by the end of the month the neptune jupiter square will start to ease so you yourself will be a bit more okay yeah i feel a bit more you know a bit more grounded a bit more myself um well not grounded you are a pisces <laughs> first week of the month you've got the emperor underneath the high priestess now that is a very interesting pairing because it means that you're not shying away from divulging some of these bigger secrets about yourself it means that you're not afraid to admit to things you know this is a month where you're really going to be quite uh, quite talkative when it comes to the stuff that you've been holding inside uh, because you've got the emperor here it does suggest that you are leading the way. So for those of you that are in relationships where you might have had some rocky patches and some up and downs, this is gonna be the month where you say, right, you know what, we're gonna fix this and we're gonna fix it together. This will be you at the forefront. Whether you're the man, whether you're the woman is irrelevant. This is about you as a being saying to your partner, look, you know what, we're not in a good place right now and I'm gonna get us through this. I'm gonna go first. This is what I've been feeling. This is how I am. This is what's been going on with me what can we do about that now it's your turn you know what are you going through what is you know what do you feel how do you feel that we're at this first week of the month could be a really power week for you where you're kind of just going for it and saying you know what i want to continue on this path with you but we need to fix some stuff and you're not taking no for an answer which you know is, go you <laughs> uh, your second week of the month you've got the judgment card right underneath the tower there's definitely something taking place in your financial sector um and it looks like an old bill or an old debt of some kind is coming back to you it might be something that you've forgotten it might be something that you that is unexpected because um, the judgment card is a blast from the past right but it also precedes massive changes so i will definitely say because you've got the tower there as well it looks like there's going to be some sort of surprise bill or expense it could possibly be because you've got the judgment and the tower it could be something to do with uh, the plumbing in your place either the plumbing or the electrics um, so, you know, obviously keep an eye on that stuff. Again, I'm not a professional. I don't know anything about that stuff. And I've never been to any of your houses. I had to think about that. Have I ever been to any of my Sally's houses? Um, <laughs> oh, two. My, my sister and one of my best friends. Um, <laughs> but, you know. Um, yeah, so th those are, are possibilities. But on a personal level, when it comes to the health, it is. It's, it's the nervous system or the, the lymph system, one of those two may well be out of whack and you could be getting an understanding of where that comes from this month. You could really be figuring out some form of a chronic disease. Uh, so your third week of the month, you got the world card, right? This is where you come in full circle, right? This is, I mean, I love the world card because it means that you're ready for something new. It means that you've completed the energy that you're in, you've completed the cycle that you're in, and you're wrapping that up now. You're ready to push on, you're ready to move forward and to do and to experience and to have something completely different, which is a beautiful place to be, right? Um, 
now the fact that it's underneath the nine of wands i love this as well because in the middle it's got the full card there and you know that oh, that whole motif is just excellent uh, and because it falls underneath your communications card what this is basically saying to you is where you go into this um you know this ability to talk about things that's how you close up this cycle that's how you know you're ready to transcend something because you can talk about it you the emotion might still be there that that's not you know a lot of people say like oh well you know you'll know when you're over something because you can talk about it without without getting upset no uh, I, I was nearly going to swear then again like stuff that no way that, that doesn't you can still feel those emotions i mean hello you're a pisces right you can still feel those emotions and be past it and be over it the fact that you can just talk about it or divulge it or open up a dialogue about it means that you have already evolved past it and you're ready to let it go it doesn't mean that you know one thing i believe especially when it comes to trauma when it comes to difficult stuff Stuff. I've had my own and it never not hurts it just hurts less with time but you always feel it it just doesn't have as much power to control you once you get past it right once you truly uh, transcend the experience it doesn't have the power to hurt you but you always feel it that feeling never goes away right so don't let people convince you that and, and if this doesn't resonate with you don't let me convince you any other right but i'm giving you the the information as it's coming to me so the fourth week of the month you got the strength card right underneath the temperance card your heart pisces oh you, you're gonna know healing this month right there is healing happening for you on a very very deep level be kind to yourself this month be uh, gentle with yourself this month just like you treat everyone else with cotton wool gloves this month you want to treat yourself exactly the same way this month you want to be that gentle person but be that gentle person with yourself right this is a time to nurture yourself a time to nourish yourself to really look after yourself and your strength card underneath the temperance card this is about arriving at that spiritual understanding of not just how to look after yourself but also how to flourish and how to truly manifest things in the world and then finally your key to the month and this month you get the star card hope optimism joy if you know an Aquarius person um, spend time with them this month there is something that they will be able to teach you something that they will be able to show you here's a really interesting thought as well the star card is aquarius the tower card is uranus so there is definitely an aquarian around you this month that could really assist you or help you in some way shape or form uh, the other thing with the star card as well is that glimpse into the future hold on to that hold on to that idea of where you truly want to be where you really see yourself and finally more than anything else the biggest message here reach out to the people that you know are on your wavelength even if you have never spoken to them before but you feel a, oh excuse me i've got a sneeze <laughs> even if you've never spoken to them before but you resonate with them reach out speak to them no doubt they'll want to speak to you too this is a going to be a great time for you to network but like i said the, the main theme for this month is going to be healing and understanding and true spiritual wisdom. All right. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know if it's not too personal in the comments. Otherwise, please reach out to me via any of my other platforms. That's so many people do, which is why sometimes it takes me a long time to get back to you. But I will always do my best. All right. Take care and I'll see you soon.